Well, hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. This is a 911 emergency for when you have sinned. You say, okay, well, this is like all the time with me. Okay, yeah, I mean, sin in the sense of, of not living up to God's perfect standard. We're doing that all the time. But there are some times where we particularly um, uh, commit or maybe fall into if we want to try and sugarcoat it and take a little personal blame off of us, um, get trapped by uh, sin, uh, sin that's, that's just clearly wrong. We, we've just done wrong. And, and, and it's something that we've got to confront and it's an impediment in our walk with God and it's an impediment in our walk with others, but ultimately it's an impediment in our walk with ourselves. One of the, the, the 911 first responder emergency treatments for this is Psalm 51. Now this is a Psalm traditionally associated with David, King David, after he has sinned with Bathsheba. And I won't tell the whole story, but remember, David's the king. He's married, he's got kids, he's got a great life, he's got a great kingdom, he's got all the good things, but he sends his army out to war and doesn't go with them. Probably should have. And while his army's out doing the war thing, uh, David sees the wife of one of his soldiers, Bathsheba, and she's bathing on a rooftop. And the king, of course, is in a higher house, so he's looking down. The palace looks down. It's at the top of the hill. He sees her on her rooftop bathing. He has her brought, and he uh, uh, commits adultery with her. She gets pregnant. Well, that's a problem, uh, especially with her husband being away fighting David's battles. You know, how does she get pregnant? So David ultimately brings the husband back and tries to get the husband to sleep with his wife real quick to cover up the pregnancy. And that doesn't work because the husband's so loyal to the king, he says, how can I be at home uh, enjoying myself when I should be on the battlefield for my king? And so David ultimately, in his absolute uh, disgustingly entrapped, ensnared, sinful brain, just decides to let the battle turn in such a way where it's orchestrated by David for Uriah the husband to die. So here's David, he's committed adultery. He has tried to deceive his people. He's deceived those closest to him and he has basically committed murder. And at some point, Nathan the prophet comes and God, um, uh, just cuts David to the heart and David realizes his sin. It's in that circumstance that this psalm is, is written um, uh, to, to evoke this cry for forgiveness in the midst of sin. And so within the framework of that, you've got Psalm 51, where David begins and he says, have mercy on me, O God. Heneni Elohim, have mercy on me, O God. Um, according to your steadfast love, chesed, your, 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 your loyalty, your kindness, your mercy, according to your, your steadfast love, your abundant mercy, blot out my sin, my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. He says, I know my sin. I know my transgression. It's, it's, it's ever before me. I can't get away from it. It's sticky. It's all over me. It's got me dirty. I feel it. I sense it. I know it. And then David says something that's insightful and downright provocative in a sense. He says to God, against you, only have I sinned. I think about that one. I mean, he kind of sinned against Bathsheba. He kind of sinned against her husband when he killed him or had him killed. But David says against you only because David's focus is first and foremost on God. And any sin that we commit is an affront to a holy and just God. And David recognizes that's the core of the sin.
The people, definitely collateral damage. But the sin is against God. So if you have sinned, if this is your 911 emergency responder to your sinning, may I suggest to you, you can say it in Hebrew, Cheneni Elohim, have mercy, God. But you need to turn and confess your sin to God. And you need to, to do it in a way where you, you, you turn from that sin. And by the power of God, you try to walk in holiness and purity. And if you sin again, you still come back and you confess it. And you seek God's intervention and you seek God's help. So your 911, turn to Psalm 51. Turn to the Lord and confess your sin. Repent and seek his strength in walking in holiness. He forgives sin. He died to forgive sin. And you claim the blood of Jesus as you seek his mercy. That's your video thought for the day. One more 911 call tomorrow.